stretch the final five strands. Leroy pipe down. I'm trying to film here, dude. Live in Texas, hidden spring farm. Well, as you can see, I got some bare fence posts behind me. That only means one thing, putting up more T-posts and putting up more barbed wire. That's two things. Hey folks, welcome back. I'm David. This is Live in Texas, hidden spring farm. Today, we got a little bit of fence to put up, five more strands of barbed wire, and we're complete with the fencing project for this section here. We still have two gates to put up before we can release the cows in there. We'll get that done later this weekend. Today, we're just going to knock this fence out. Y'all come on and join us. Let's have a little bit of fun fencing. Just got to get a flat area where I'm going to measure off my distances on these poles when I bring the wires in. Well, laying them out was the easy part. Here comes the hard part. T posts in the ground. Now we're going to make our marks at the level that we want the barbed wire to hit on our wooden post. We're going to mark those and start stretching. Just five strands to go, folks, and this one's done. So I'm going to put our barbed wire right on top of these other pieces of barbed wire I put when we did our last video doing this stretch of fence. I'll mark this pole here. And I'll mark those last two down there and we'll secure it. 14, 24, 36, 48. We are ready to pull some barbed wire and it can't come soon enough to get this done. All right, I'm gonna try to use my corner post over here for an anchor to be able to pull the barbed wire All right, so the anchor point's there. Now looking at the path, I was going to have to come through with the mule to pull the dolly around and get spun around here. I'm going to have to clear out some of these branches real quick, so I'm going to knock that out and uh, figure out what we need to do for a clearer path. Hadn't been in here with the brush hog since the... Uh, forestry mulcher come through and the last thing I want to do is find one of them copper-headed rattle moccasins in here I remember I said I'm gonna lay it right on top of the other one all right so we poured the barbed wire now since I know it's gonna work I'm gonna run down back on the other end Get it stapled up, get it twisted properly. Then we're going to come down here and hook it up, pull it tight. Well, I got the bottom one stapled here and there. I'm going to walk up, staple it on that first pole inside the corner. And then we'll start attaching to the T-post. That's the worst part. The worst part's over the lowest one. That's one I have problems with the most because I'm old and decrepit. So we got all of them stapled on the wood. We got the T-post clips on. So now all we got to do is start stringing the higher ones. We got four wires to go, folks. Four, count them. One, two, three, four. This project will be done on the fencing part. Here we go.
got to give it up for those guys that make a living building fences every day. I do not know how they do it. I'm just glad I don't have to do it every day for a living. This uh, project has been a learning experience because even though I've put up fence and dead heat before, and I'm 57 years old now, and it has been brutal out here. And so I usually like to get something done and get it done right now, but I have literally had to slow this project down a little bit because if not man I'd have got heat exhaustion again I there ain't no way I'm going through that again so I need to put the staple in on that end get these clipped up and we'll get that next one up All right, so here's the deal. I didn't have enough barbed wire on the other reel to pull this last strand. So I went to my stockpile and I've got another reel and hopefully it has enough on there. It's a different brand of barbed wire, still 12.5 gauge, still four point. It looks a little bit different cause it's weathered and it's older. I'm just hoping it's not the real old one that I got. And I'm hoping I can get it pulled and not have any problems. One more strain to go and put the clips on and this is done. Cross our fingers, let's hope it works. I'm gonna go ahead and walk down and get that one now because uh, I missed that one earlier. I had to walk all the way around the fence. So I'm gonna knock it out. Then we're going to get to clipping. Well, no, we got to cut first. So let me do so I got the wire so tight that this T-post is riding in and out. So this is riding down off of one of the terraces, and this is in the low part. So it wants to, these two or four posts here are up on the terrace, so they're trying to pull up what's down low. So I think what I'm going to end up having to do is get a six and a half foot and pound in here and then reclip it here. All right, folks, here it is right here. All five strands are done. This part of the fence is done. The only problem I got is that one T post that's coming out of the ground right there in the bottom between the two terraces. I'm going to replace it. But other than that, that's it. We got the wire to pretty much go with the contour of the ground. This is the other part over here that we put up in the other videos, the woven wire, which in the future, all this area just on the other side of that woven wire over there is going to be our ground garden. You can see in the distance, we've got our raised beds there. This is the area here. Cows will be able to come out of right there where Miss Cadence is standing. There'll be a gate coming out of this area. They'll be able to come into this area and get over here inside the trees and stay shaded from the sun. Just want to give you one last look at this back fence that I put up when it was so hot the other day. 
We had some more limbs come down with that storm that come through yesterday, but here it is right here, folks. This is the woven wire coming down, turn into barbed wire going up. This is what I did on the last video, and then you've seen that going out into that area. So this area will be for them to get shaded from the sun, stay cool during the heat of the day. And we've got uh, two 16-foot gates to put in, one right behind the mule in that opening where I was pulling today, and then right over there where my wife is at the end of this H there is a uh, another opening for a 16 foot gate and then we're going to put as we can see miss cinnamon's getting dinner time over there off mama cadence so we're going to put in a 14 foot gate right here we're going to have to put in two posts here put a 14 foot gate it'll open inward they'll be able to come out this will be closed but this is what it looks like all these days of work come down to this. It looks pretty good. Well, that's a wrap for today, guys. We appreciate you joining us. Thanks for all your support. I'm going to put some links up on the screen to some other videos. We hope you enjoy those. Thanks again for joining us on Living Texas Hidden Spring Farm. You guys have a blessed day.